Hey guys, today I have a ROM review and this time it is the uh, CyanogenMod Nightly Build uh, version 10 for the at t Samsung Galaxy S3 and uh, you can see the new uh, boot animation logo for the CyanogenMod it's not the uh, SID, it's now the rotating circle and um, yeah, you can see the lock screen, it's the AOKB style um, sorry, AOSB style lock screen and um, installation of this ROM is pretty easy. You just flash the zip file for the ROM and also you flash the uh, Google apps required for this ROM and uh, you'll be set. And uh, I didn't have any problems during the installation so it would be pretty easy to install this ROM. And as you can see, um, the ROM is, uh, as far as I've used, has a pretty good battery life. It is pretty smooth and uh, it has all the uh, buttery smoothness of the jelly bean and um, it works pretty well and uh, <coughs> and what else uh, it has all the uh, features which would come up uh, with the uh, jelly bean it has a working a working Google now uh, the good thing about it is the working Netflix and uh, yeah I have only three home screens set up you can change the number of home screens and I right now only have three let's take a look at the notification bar and you can see that it's the uh, jelly bean style notification bar pretty neat and um, what else um, I don't have that many widgets on my home screen I just have three widgets music uh, the uh, power toggles and the uh, weather widget and um, Let's get into the system settings and see the versions of the ROM. And you can see I have i7-47 uh, AT&T version of the uh, Galaxy S3. The Android version is 4.1.1 and the Cyanogen build is nightly. And it's the August 28th version, yes. I am still running the August 28th version. <coughs> and what else? And overall, it is pretty good ROM. Uh, it has the Google Now working, uh, which I've told you earlier. And uh, the 720p videos also work in the YouTube, uh, the HD videos. And um, games run smooth, and uh, the Netflix also works. Um, and I haven't noticed any lag or stutter while I was using the ROM. It was pretty smooth and um, everything works just perfect. Uh, let's get into the system settings and let's see the settings for uh, this specific ROM. Uh, the customizations you can make uh, in terms of the interface and all. Uh, so we have four settings. Let's uh, see one by one. First go to the launcher. And the launcher which comes with this ROM is the Trebuchet 0.2 version and uh this is a pretty good uh launcher it has customizations uh as well uh, you can control this grid size you can control the number of home screens which i was missing uh in the OK, aokp rom and uh, you can set the default screen as well you can set the persistent search bar on the home screen and um yeah various other options uh, you can set the scroll uh, wallpaper option as well and uh, you also have the drawer settings <coughs> you can um, control uh, what you see on the drawer um, you have the page indicator you have the uh, fading indicator option as well and uh, in general you just have auto rotate screen um, all the basic options are there in terms of the launcher and uh, let's get into the lock screen and in the lock screen as you can see you can set the uh, security options like the uh, pattern uh, a password and all and um, you can also set the uh, delay and uh, the lock screen and uh, yeah one option which I really like here is you can disable the vibration vibration option in the uh, lock screen which was missing in AOKP so always when you touch the uh, lock screen it used to vibrate which you can disable right now in this uh, cyanogen mod build uh, of the jelly bean you can also set the shortcuts on the lock screen which is also neat 
which was obviously not present in the uh, AOKP ROM and uh, yeah that's another good option on the uh, Cyanogen mod build. You can also set the themes. I only have the uh, default theme which I really like, but you can download themes from the Play Store. You can just search for CM10 theme on the Play Store and it will give you a bunch of themes. And in the system settings, you have the options for the status bar. And in the status bar, um, you can set the clock style, you can set different styles for your battery. Uh, not many options though, just three options. And you also can have the signal indicator, which is cool. And uh, let's change that to the icon. And uh, you have only icon and percentage for battery. Uh, I prefer AOKP and this uh, battery uh, customization because it has a circular mod kind of thing, which is pretty good. And you also can change the wallpaper from here. You can change the power menu uh, when you long press the power button. And you can also customize the actions uh, for the uh, three home, three hardware keys. What you have, um, <clears throat> you can open up the recent apps by long, long pressing the uh, home key and uh, various other options for the other keys as well, which is uh, okay. So the, those are all the settings what you have for the Cyanogen mod nicely built and. Um, yeah, it's overall uh, not much in terms of the uh, customizations, but pretty good uh, since it's still in the nightly st stage and uh, more features are yet to be added. And uh, keep in mind, this is not the uh, September 3rd version, which is the current version. This is still the August 28th version. I would want to make a update video later. So just showing in the drawer. Uh, the app drawer and um, yeah, I didn't want to do that uh, and if you're wondering uh, the uh, uh, toggles on my home screen it's the power toggles which I really like and um, I don't really like the power widget it's limited in terms of options but you can customize all various options and using this uh, power toggles app from the app store and what else the weather app was the uh, fancy widgets weather app and uh, yeah you would be having a screen flickering uh, occasional screen flickering uh, so you need to go to the developer options and you need to disable the hardware overlays to get rid of that screen flickering and i haven't seen this much in this build but occasional screen flickering once or twice and one more bug which really is with the um, cnn app i really use this app a lot and that's how f i've seen this bug so when you go to the videos and when you launch a video it would throw up an error so in the CNN app you would not be able to play the videos so I don't know whether there would be a fix or not and the other one was the calls you would be hearing occasional echoes the other person might hear an echo or you sometimes would hear an echo when you put it on the speakerphone or uh, the, uh, the normal uh, uh, headset as well so echoes and the calls that's one other bug and what else Netflix works and um, everything else works uh, yeah there's one more uh, bug it's with the gallery the Picasso sync doesn't work and the camera works flawless and uh, yeah overall it's a pretty good ROM and nothing I mean can use it as a daily driver the bugs are pretty small I and mean, uh, the call bug the phone bug it usually uh, doesn't come quite often so overall it's a pretty smooth uh, ROM and I would definitely recommend it uh, if you want to use this ROM as a daily driver and that's it for this video like uh, comment and subscribe for more videos